Researchers have been pushing for a ban on these chemicals, but as Wyatt Andrews reports, the industry is pushing back. For the last 30 years, to slow down fires, manufacturers have infused millions of pounds of brominated flame retardant chemicals into upholstery, electronics, and children's products. But some chemicals called PBDEs are leaching out, building up in people, and are toxic in animals. They can affect the developing brain, and they can affect the developing reproductive system. EPA senior toxicologist Linda Birnbaum is worried about the chemical DECA, the last PBDE made in America. It causes serious health effects in young animals, a red flag, she says, for humans. I am very concerned for the human population. So far, two states, Maine and Washington, are phasing out DECA. Six others, including California, are considering similar bans. Despite the growing concern over flame retardant chemicals, the industry, along with groups supported by industry, is lobbying to increase the use of chemicals in a wide range of consumer products. Fire can destroy a home. For example, to fight the state bans, the bromine industry creates neutral sounding front groups, like this one, Californians for Fire Safety, to argue that DECA is safe and saves lives. We can't take a chance on fire safety. Another example, when the Consumer Product Safety Commission proposed new standards for furniture without requiring the use of any fire retardant chemicals, Another group close to industry, the National Association of State Fire Marshals, began lobbying for standards that would require chemicals. That's a serious, serious issue for us. Fire Marshals President John Dean says his group is not pro-chemical, just pro-safety. We just don't want to put ourselves in a position of losing more lives and property. But critics point out the marshals have accepted money from the bromine industry and shared a lobbyist, Peter Sparber and Associates. Is there a conflict there where you, you're sharing a lobbyist with the chemical industry? No, I, I have not seen it to be um, a problem. Here's who does see a problem, the nation's firefighters. You think the fire marshals association is too close to the chemical industry? Well, it concerns me. And it Harold Schaitberger, who leads the union representing almost 300,000 firefighters, opposes brominated chemicals because they create toxic fumes when they burn. There's other ways to provide time and, and uh, to inhibit flame spread without using these products that I think are unnecessarily dangerous. Some companies like Dell and IKEA have already phased out brominated chemicals. The bromine industry, which declined our request to go on camera, says studies show DECA is safe. But after 30 years of our literally sitting on PBDEs, most warnings suggest we walk away. Wyatt Andrews, CBS News, Woodbridge, Virginia.